My boyfriend threw away the teddy bear my grandmother gave me when she was fighting C, so I destroyed his Lego sets. Now, he's spreading lies about me. I, 24F, have been living with my boyfriend, 25M, for about 8 months now. I have a teddy bear that my grandmother gave to me when I was younger. It has no monetary value, but the sentimental value is more important. When I was, she gave it to me while she was struggling with cancer. It was stage 4 and spread quickly and there was nothing they could do. She gave me a teddy bear and told me to take care of it, and that I could talk to the teddy bear whenever I missed her. She got one of those talking mics put in it and it would say, I hope you're feeling loved today because I love you more than all the stars in the sky and all the fish in the sea and you mean the world to me. She would say that all the time when I would spend the night. He knows how much it means to me. I told him about it. He seen me hugging the bear and sitting outside to talk to my grandma when I was sad or just needed to vent without judgment. Two days ago, he decided that it was raggedy and not appealing to look at. I can admit, the bear has been through it. I carried him around with me everywhere for two years. He would go in my book bag when I went to school, to dance class with me, he even went out of town when I had cheer meets in high school. My cousin pulled out one of his eyes when I was 10 and he's been missing an arm since my brother got mad at me and cut it off. It was sewn back on and then ripped off again. Not appealing, but he was mine. I found a button that was exactly like his from some bear at a Goodwill and was going to sew it in his eye. For context, my boyfriend and I had separate bedrooms, but we always slept together in one of them. Anyway, I went to my room to do the eye on my bear, but he wasn't on my bed. I went scouring for him for hours and my boyfriend just watched me. I started to cry because that was the last thing my grandmother gave me and she made it special for me. My boyfriend finally told me that he threw it away because it was disgusting and he hated coming into my room and seeing it. I got so mad and I felt so betrayed. He likes to spend time on Legos and building them. He's built the Eiffel Tower, the Harry Potter Tower, a cherry blossom tree, and dozens of others, so I went to his room and I destroyed them all. I threw the pieces around the room and out the window and in the garbage. He came in, screaming at me and saying how dare I touch his things that he bought with his money and he spent hours on. I told him he can get the hell out and spend hours rebuilding it someplace else, because I'm done with him. He started telling me that I was overreacting and whatever else. I forgot a lot of the argument because I was pissed. Then, I told him he had one week to get his things out and move out, but he wasn't staying here while it happened. He started telling me that I couldn't do that because he paid bills. I told him I really don't give a damn and to get out or I'd call the police. We have mutual friends and he's told them a completely different story because two have texted me asking, how could you do that to him? And I really don't care to clear it up. At the moment, I didn't feel bad, but now I kind of do because that's his hobby, but I was so hurt and betrayed by what he did. He's even called me a few times saying he'll get me another one and we can work on things. He told me to not throw away our three-year relationship over a mistake, but I am completely disgusted by him. Update 1. I want to say thank you to all the people who told me not to give up on finding my bear because I went out in the dumpster for three hours with my sister, my best friend, and even a neighbor who came down to help when I told him what happened, and I found it. I am so relieved and beyond happy. Anyway, he's air drying. I'm going to sew the button over the weekend, and my dad and brother will be here while my ex-boyfriend comes to get his stuff and that's that. I'm free of someone who doesn't respect my space or how I feel. Now that I found my bear, I really don't care and can't wait to have my apartment to myself again. I did tell our mutual friends about what he did. I took a picture of all of us digging through the trash to find my bear, then I took a picture of the bear and the state he was in after I found him and sent it to them saying, thank you for taking his side and not even trying to figure out the full situation. He threw away my property so I took away his hobby. I also sent texts of him begging me to take him back and admitting what he did, how he watched me cry for hours while I looked for it, knowing he threw it out. He watched me be distressed and didn't care. Those friends texted me saying that he said I cheated on him and when he didn't take me back, I went crazy, 